Assalamu alaikum. Welcome all to the Human Anatomy channel. In this video, I discuss alert plate of the mantle layer of the neural tube. At first, I discuss how neural tube is formed and alert derivatives of the alert plate and sensory neuron derived from the alert plate. So, at first, what is neural tube? This is the ectoderm. This is ectodermal thickening. Soon a group is developed here. This is known as the neural group and in two side two fold neural fold. The tissue of the neural fold is detached and form the neural crest. And the rest of the part of the neural fold come closer and ultimately form a tube. So this is neural tube. This is neural crest and remaining portion of the ectoderm is converted into surface ectoderm. So at first neural tube is fused in this particular region leaving two neuropore. This is cranial neuropore, this is caudal neuropore. The cranial neuropore is closed within 25 days and caudal neuropore is closed within 28 days. So this is the final structure of the neural tube and you see the cranial end is dilated uh, due to there is a three vein vesicles is from and caudal portion is remained narrow and from spinal cord. So there is a three vein vesicle is from one is prosencephalon, this one is mesencephalon and this one is rhombencephalon. So prosencephalon is again divided into two part the telencephalon and diencephalon and this is prosencephalon and rhombencephalon again divided into two vesicles the metencephalon and myelencephalon this is the uh, the cavity of the neural tube uh, so this cavity single cavity is divided into different parts of the cavity so within the telencephalon the lateral ventricle this um, space is known as the lateral ventricle within the diencephalon this is the third ventricle within the mesencephalon this is the cerebral equiduct and mm, sorry fourth ventricle and within the metencephalon and myelencephalon cerebral equiduct and this cerebral equiduct it's continue as central canal in the spinal cord So the prosencephalon is formed, the telencephalon, from telencephalon cerebrum is developed, diencephalon the thalamus, hypothalamus, and mesencephalon form midbrain, and metencephalon from pons and cerebellum, and myelencephalon is converted into medulla oblongata. Histologically, the neural tube is look like this, stratified columnar in um, shape and uh, from new um, neuron is developed from by the process of mitosis neuroblast this neuroblast is migrate and uh, um, located here and a new layer is formed this is known as the mantle layer and the processes of the newly formed neuroblast is placed here uh, and from another layer this is the marginal layer. So this is the mantle layer. This portion of mantle layer is from the alert plate and this portion of mantle layer from the basal plate. And in between two alert plate, this is the roof plate and in between two basal plate, this is the floor plate and in between the alert plate, alert plate and basal plate, this is the sulcus limitans. So you see this is the central canal uh, or cavity of the neural tube and this is the stratified columnar epithelium uh, by the process of mitosis new neuron is formed, neuroblast is formed and they migrate and form place here and a layer is formed this is known as the mantle layer 
and processes of this neuroblast from another layer this is marginal zone this occur in the spinal cord and um, most of the part of the brain stem like this but in cerebral uh, cerebral cortex and cerebellum uh, the migration process is little bit different this is the wall of the neural tube new newly uh, formed neuron the neuroblast is from the mental layer and marginal layer is also formed but what happened here the neuroblast is uh, migration of the neuroblast is not um, confined within the mental layer it progressively go externally and a place in the marginal layer so um, most of the neuroblast is placed within the marginal zone and from the gray matter of the cerebrum and gray matter of the cerebellum few neuroblast is remain within the mental layer they form the basal nuclei of cerebrum and nuclei of the cerebellum so this is the difference between the spinal cord and cerebral cortex the cellular migration regarding the cellular migration so what is the alert plate obviously you can understand the alert plate is the part of the mental layer and they deal the sensory system and its place dorsally dorsal region of the spinal cord and also brain spinal cord and alert plate so this is the neural tube this is the mental layer this is the marginal layer this is the alert plate so alert plate um, this is the cent uh, cavity of the neural tube so cavity of the neural tube is from the central canal the wall of the neural tube from ependymal uh, lined central canal and alert plate is converted into dorsal horn and basal plate is converted into ventral horn and the marginal zone is converted into white matter of the spinal cord so gray matter of the spinal cord is derived from the mental layer and dorsal horns are derived from alert plate and ventral horns are derived from basal plate so this is the wall of the neural tube the cavity of the neural tube alert plate basal plate and this is the the adult structure adult cross sections of the spinal cord the function alert plate of the spinal cord and functional component so this is alert plate and uh, near the roof plate you see there is a nuclei uh, name of the nuclei is general somatic efferent column it collects sensory information which arises from the ectoderm and somite this is the general visceral efferent general visceral efferent they collect sensory information uh, the structure which derived from the endoderm and splanchy pericular of lateral plate mesoderm alert plate and medulla blanketa you see this is the location of the uh, alert plate dorsally located alert plate this is the roof plate soon roof plate is begin to enlarge open like a book open like a book and this roof plate is converted into a thin um, membrane like structure and in front there is a fourth ventricle is formed and this is the uh, alert plate it shift laterally so the basal plate is situated medially and alert plate situated laterally in the medulla oblongata so alert plate of the medulla oblongata and functional component so this lateral nucleus are nuclei of the medulla oblongata and according to the functional component 
this is the general visceral afferent this is the special visceral afferent this is the general somatic afferent this is the special somatic afferent so you see the this is the alert plate and it's form the cochlear nuclei and vestibular nuclei alert plate and inferior olivary nucleus this is alert plate the sum uh, cells newly formed uh, neuroblast is leave the alert plate and came ventally and formed the inferior olivary nucleus alert plate and pons some of the nuclei leave the alert plate and come ventrally and form the pontile nuclei some of the neuroblast is leave alert plate and go toward the rhombic leaf and this rhombic leaf is further develop you see they are uh, develop and from the cerebellum so alert plate sensory nuclei sensory cranial nerve sensory part of the mixed cranial nerve sensory portion of the spinal nerve alert plate and sensory nuclei so this is the special somatic efferent and nuclei of the special somatic efferent which is derived from the alert plate is the cochlear nuclei and vestibular nuclei this is the general somatic efferent and it collects sensory information the structure we derive from the ectoderm and somite so the nuclei name is the mesencephalic nucleus it's mostly uh, confined within the midbrain and within the spons the chief sensory nucleus and from pons to medulla oblongata up to the spinal cord this is the pineal nucleus of the trisimilar nerve so this uh, sensory nuclei is derived from the alar plate and these two nuclei uh, this is the special visceral efferent and this is the general visceral efferent special visceral efferent means is collect uh, it's related with taste sensation and also olfaction and the general visceral efferent collects sensory information from the viscera so name of the nuclei is the nucleus of the tractor solitarius and are uh, nerve uh, related uh, um, this functional component is 7 to 9 and 10 facial glossopharyngeal vagus and the special somatic efferent is related with the vestibular cochlear nerve general somatic efferent is related with the um, trisiminal nerves so this is all about the alert plate if you like this video please press the like button and if you find this video is helpful please share this video as please support me by subscribing my channel thank you for watching